Welcome to our Outstanding Crystal series. I have something very, very special to show you here. It is what we call Beta Quartz, and these are the best examples of it. You can find some celestial action there, but notice it's kind of sceptered, and it's got this gigantic uh, record keeper on it. And you'll also notice it goes up in a pyramid and down in a pyramid. But unlike an octahedron, beta quartz has six sides on top and six sides on the bottom. So these two are fantastic pieces right here that really demonstrate the form rather nicely. But what's a little harder to see and understand is this little tiny guy. It's three crystals, all connected, all double terminated, a floater of beta quartz. So that means that you've got your six sides on top and your six sides on the bottom. So I don't lose it, I just keep it in a box like this. And last but not least, I want to bring you in to look at this cluster here. So this looks like a nondescript sort of light amethyst quartz cluster, but it's really so much more. I'm gonna pull these other pieces away and go for a little journey inside of this piece. You will notice as you look at it that they are little tents going on here. They are six-sided tents. And if you look at that one right there, maybe if I put it down, and I point at it, this one right here, you can see it's got the top and then the bottom. It's, it's, it's a perfect sort of six-sided on top, six-sided on the bottom, beta quartz attached into the cluster. And if you look at the others, you can see some other examples of this. So I got a real find here in this beta quartz cluster. There you can see this one in back here is like that too. It's having a little trouble focusing. But energetically, what's interesting about these is that it taps into the whole concept of the octahedron, the above and the below being balanced. And even though it's not fully terminated, it is what I call tending towards octahedralism, or in this case, you've got six sides. So, I hope you enjoyed our little journey into beta quartz, which is not a easy stone to find in the market or in the ground. Uh, this one comes from Russia, these come from somewhere in China, and this comes from India. So it's an amazing uh, formation that you really don't find very often, and I'm quite pleased to have a few of these pieces in my collection. Thanks for watching. I'm Kyle. You can reach me, K-Y-L-E, at crystalconcentrics.com. I'll look forward to hearing from you and also sharing uh, many, many more videos coming up in the future.